Cheers. We've arrived in Bristol. Could be our mode of transport around Bristol. wonder what's going on when we've been here or about four hours we're just um, coming off the pontoon and Pete who is here on True Grit needs some work doing on his boat is going to come alongside where we were and then we're going to raft alongside him so Michael's reversing out into the water um, I'm on the pontoon to uh, help hopefully I'll be some help and Pete's going to reverse in here. As you can see, he's coming back across. And then Michael will just pull straight back in. Oh. Michael's just whisked out into the main channel. And Pete's going to come across. So I'm going to take a rope in a second. Michael's, Michael's off. Hopefully you can see SS Great Britain in the sunshine there. And that's how we've ended up rafted. I think it looks okay. Might be a bit wobbly with two boats together, but I think it'll be all right. This could be our mode of transport around Bristol. I'm not certain Michael trusts me to um, not cause carnage on the Bristol roads. <laughs> Maybe I should get Michael to go in there. Bit of R&R. &R. So I've just been looking at the history of the Matthew and uh, the original date from the mid 15th century it was a commercial goods ship and it travelled between Bristol Island and the Bay of Biscay. In 1497 it set off on an exploration to the Americas uh, with the captain John Cabot. It was quite a small ship, um, oh it can only carry 50 tons. Um, what we can see uh, here in front is um, a replica and uh, you can take trips on the replica. Uh -huh. This is the um, the super yacht that we passed when we were coming in on board Arriva and uh, we've since found out that uh, the helicopter is actually a replica. Um, I don't think it would make a, a very good uh, flying machine. This is SS Great Britain and I've just been and seen if they've got any tickets and they're all sold out for today. Oh, what? So this is Brunel's SS Great Britain, which one of the first great ocean, uh, ocean liners uh, sailed all around the world. Um, the um, exhibition here it's got lots and lots of posters showing all the uh, different voyages that the uh, the ocean liner made. Um, absolutely fascinating. Lots of artifacts. It looks beautiful. Gosh, but it takes some upkeeping. It's just massive. Um, I don't know how many people it would have taken at once. I'll have a quick look and see if we can find out. Here we can see. Um, the journey that it made on the 15th of July 1865, the different fairs 
um, ranging from the, I presume, the after saloon, which would be the first class, which is 65 to 75 guineas, all the way down to steerage, which is 15 to 16 guineas. Uh, and it looks like it made the voyage in around 60 days. The fastest one looks like it was in 55 days and 17 hours. An incredible feat. But there are lots of other examples of other journeys that it made um, around the same time. Um, and the price that it would take for uh, somebody to go on the, uh, on the ocean liner as we come up to um, some the railway lines in the uh, dock siding and you'll see the huge cranes where they obviously lifted the produce off the boats and into um, well into probably waiting wagons for them to be distributed around the country and even onto the canal barges the railway sidings right alongside the uh, the dock uh, i'm certain there would have been old mill buildings warehouses along the quayside I don't know whether you saw that, but uh, the uh, the guy was doing yoga on a railway line, um, trying to balance and maintain his core. Um, yeah, doing lots of different yoga poses. I didn't video for too long because I thought it might be a little bit rude. But uh, yeah, it was uh, it was good. I've never seen somebody do yoga on a railway line before. <laughs> it's a first. Moving. We're having a change of scenery in Bristol. Um, we had a bit of an incident at four o'clock in the morning when two um, two lads, um, slightly drunk, jumped on top of the uh, boat we were moored alongside, our friend. Um, and uh, anyway, a bit of a carry on. So we thought we'd uh, better move since he's gone now. Uh, so we're moving over to Arnolfina, um, which is probably a little bit more secure. Um, yeah. Anyway, these things happen. We decided we'd uh, come over to the other location, um, which is a bit more near the main area for restaurants and bars. Um, and it's actually overlooking um, the site of um, a gig that's going to take place tomorrow evening, which is Noel Gallagher. Um, I think it's probably just as well we're not going to be here then because I think it'll be very noisy. Uh, but this is a really nice location, uh, lots of trip boats coming past, um, so we've made certain that we're securely moored and that uh, we're not going to get bounced around by the trip boats. There's a fantastic sailboat in front of us. Um, we just had a quick chat with him and um, he's just taken some crew on board so not certain where they're going to be going obviously out into the uh, Bristol Channel probably um, very very big sailboat so we're just going to go out for our customary morning coffee How's it going? It's hot. It's a real scorchy dog. It's a bit hot to touch.
morning. Well, we were really rudely awakened at 6.15 this morning. We were being attacked by seagulls, it would appear, or not we were, the strawberries were. So you might think all looks serene, but it's not. Hopefully you can pick this out. Strawberries, mullard, chaos. They've obviously just completely got under the netting with their beaks and um, taken the strawberries to pieces. There we go. See those over there? Yes, absolutely. All gone. Bits of strawberries everywhere. This is clearly the worst. That was clearly their favourite one. So we've now got the process of cleaning everything up. So that was Bristol. Um, hope you enjoyed the film. Uh, we really liked Bristol, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Really great. Loved going around the harbour, yeah. um, having a look at all the old buildings, and it was really uh, sad that we couldn't get uh, tickets to SS Great Britain. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Yeah. But there's a real maritime history in yeah. uh, in Bristol, and um, only last weekend we've been to. We took a flying visit to Portsmouth. So they historic dockyard in Portsmouth, obviously where I was my Royal Naval collections. We went to have a look around the naval ships and stuff. So that's coming up in a, in a further episode. So um, stay tuned for that one. But yeah, Bristol was great. Uh, it's a shame to leave. We were only there for two days, but we really, really enjoyed it, didn't we? Yeah, we so, did. Yeah, we great. Um, shame we didn't get to see the Noel Gallagher gig, but can't have everything. <laughs> so if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and give us a thumbs up and uh, always comment down below and uh, give us some feedback. Yeah, we do like to hear your comments and um, we answer everyone. So um, leave us a comment on what yeah. you think. And, um, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.